Thank you for clicking on the video. Here today, uh, in this Why I Own It, I'm gonna talk about the 90s classic action movie with Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery, and that is Michael Bay's The Rock. And this is the Criterion Collection of The Rock, so stay tuned. I've mentioned this quite a few times in various videos. Uh, I watched a lot of like action movies growing up in the 90s and a lot of stuff that I probably shouldn't have watched because of the level of violence and language and whatever in it. And as I said before, my parents seem to be okay with that sort of stuff. So in that vein, I remember watching The Rock and my first introduction uh, to The Rock uh, was actually through cable television. Uh, back in the 90s, the cable provider that my family had uh, where we were growing up would periodically run promos over a course of a weekend or maybe like a week, I don't remember, but a couple days where they would put premium channels on for free that you didn't have to pay for and you'd have access to it for a couple days to see all the films that they would play and then they would run uh you know interstitials i guess in between you know promos for hey purchase this channel for 5.99 a month you know purchase hbo purchase stars purchase cinemax you know whatever and i remember stars doing a promotion like that uh in the summer of you know somewhere in the mid 90s i don't remember the exact year they were playing the rock on loop like every third or fourth movie that they would run in their loop was the rock for some reason so i watched that movie over the course of like the three or four or five days that they were running this like promotional thing to try and get you to buy the channel i watched this movie like like a dozen times uh, over the course of that time and I, I really became a fan of this movie and really became a fan of like Nicolas Cage for the, that time and Sean Connery, who I had already previously known, not so much as like James Bond or any of that stuff that he was known for, but I knew him as Indiana Jones's dad from Last Crusade. And so I got to see him in a different kind of role where he was more or less portraying James Bond. Like they allude to it that it's James Bond without ever actually saying he's James Bond. Uh, but that's essentially the character he's playing is an older, you know, more mature, more like hardened version of James Bond in this. And this set specifically, why I own it, this is the Criterion Collection, which this is uh, number 108 on there. And this holds some value to me because this was the very first Criterion disc I ever bought. And not only was it the first Criterion disc I ever bought, this was the very first uh, purchase I ever made through Amazon. Uh, I bought this in 2007 when I was in college. And uh, this was, like I said, the very first purchase I ever made through Amazon and the very first Criterion collection. And I didn't even know what Criterion was really at the time. That was like early on in college for me. And I was really like focused on that sort of stuff and whatever, what you, you know, being a college student. So I never really paid attention to Criterion. I didn't realize that they were like, considered to be a really high quality label you know for like preservation of like historical films and you know classic films and cult classic films and stuff uh, i just bought it because i wanted to see the movie again and i found a listing on amazon for like dirt cheap for like four or five dollars or something at the time and so i've owned this ever since the, this version uh like i said i've had this for almost 20 years now and I think the quality on this is really good. I know they did release a Blu-ray edition uh, however long ago. I, I don't know if it's ever come out in 4K. Uh, again, admittedly, I don't buy a lot of 4K, so I don't really keep up with the 4K releases that much. But to me, in everything I've seen, I've seen the VHS tape of this. I've seen the Bare Bones DVD uh, once or twice. And I've seen this. And I don't know if I've ever seen the Blu-ray, uh, to be honest. But in terms of all the DVD quality uh, releases I've seen, this is by far the best best one. Uh, it has really good picture quality. The audio is really uh, good on it. It's in the theatrical aspect ratio. Color grading is really nice. Uh, the special features are really cool. Uh, again, as I mentioned in other videos, I went through my phase of 
really being caught up and wanting to watch a lot of behind the scenes stuff, sometimes even more so than the movies, where I wanted to watch the documentaries and making of and, you know, just all these like little tidbit videos of how they did things. And this one has a whole bunch of that on there. It's got analysis of different special effects and different scenes and like uh, a big special feature on like the do's and don'ts of like handling weapons on set with actual uh, like weapons uh, masters or whatever they call them that are on set and you know, like showing you all this stuff and kind of making fun of like uh, gangbanger movies you know of like how guys like aim their guns sideways and do all this stuff which was kind of big in the 90s uh you know so like kind of poking fun at that and talking about the real way military guys would do it and talking about training the actors to be like navy seals and like all this sort of stuff so this is a really cool set and i really like the artwork too just this plain black with the silver text and the alcatraz outline island on the bottom there uh, but yeah, so I, I really enjoy this movie. Nicolas Cage, Sean Connery, all that. Michael Bay, this is typical Michael Bay with explosions and just dumb action and, and stuff in there. But uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy this movie. This is another like childhood nostalgia thing for me. And the whole reason I own this specific one uh, outside of enjoying the movie is because, again, this has a lot of sentimental value. This is the first Criterion and the very first Amazon purchase I ever made. And so I've had this in my collection for like 20 years now. So, uh, yeah, so that is the reason I own the Criterion Collection of The Rock. Uh, so with that, uh, I want to say thank you to everyone again. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you.